What's going on YouTube? So, I came outside to mess with Candy today because I kept hearing a grinding sound coming from my driver's side tire. Thought about it, um, a friend of mine said, yo, it could be the hub bearing. I was like, nah, nah. But then when I drove, it seemed like my wheel was a little crooked. So you know what, maybe it is the hub bearing. I'm gonna go buy the parts and then we'll take the wheel off and see what the problem is. I took the wheel off. This is what the problem is. Oh! Hub bearing all fell apart. Look at this shit. How was I even driving on that shit? So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna replace it, which I have the new hub bearings. I have some grease and uh, the inner and the outer, and I'm gonna replace all of that. Put this back on, and we'll see how it comes out, see how smooth she's riding. Hopefully there'll be no more screeching from my tire. We'll see. Got my whole rotor off. All of that grease is from inside of that shit. That shit is crazy, crazy. This is my first time changing it, so we'll see how it goes. You will have to like, oh, fuck it. Grease on it? What? Look, it's a rag right here. Look at that shit. <laughs> I didn't even grip it, I just slipped completely off. That's how I knew. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he said, whoa. Whoa, that shit wet. <laughs> Damn, girl. My cousin didn't reply to that fucking man. Could it see? Nah, another person. No, I'm saying, is it looking at it? Oh. But it's blurry. I was not supposed to have to bang that shit like that to get it off. That shit is supposed to move uh, smoothly around this motherfucker. Son, I was upset. I should have bang, 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 bang. And not the regular bang. It's like the echo bang. It's right straight on me. Straight ahead. You don't even know how petrified I was just talking to you. You got a camera? Oh, you messed it up? No, it messed itself up. Move your foot. <laughs> yeah, how you doing? I'm fine. Yeah, you got a good camera. Oh, that. Oh, but you have your foot in front of the camera. There you go. The, um, the, oh. Yeah, how was that shit even on there that tight? She said she was scared to park it? Yeah. She had the camera. That's exactly what I just said. Who is that? I don't know. I've never seen her a day in my life. She's friendly though. Oh, yeah, you do. Um, I thought I saw somebody going to the now. photo party right now. Motherfuckers be using that porta potty. Oh, right there, right? Shit is open. Yeah, I seen some other dudes do that shit the other day. Yesterday, girls used it for another event. They went inside and was like, whoa, and pissed behind it. Or did whatever they did behind it. I was yeah. walking by, they're like, uh, uh, I say, yo, it's all good. Do what you gotta do, man. I don't give a fuck. I'll be like, he inside of the shit. What the nah, fuck? You ain't my girl. Oh, fuck. Nah, there's the nah, block, man. I blocked these smell everything. Now, you know what it is? Sometimes you can't take the smell. You pass out before you use the bathroom, boy. Dumb shit be horrible. I went to some event. Not an event. Somewhere upstate that they didn't have back then. They had it like that. Uh-huh. Hell no. That shit was like years of that. You ever go to the Big E? What? The Big E? Nah. That shit. Phone up just to get a response to not respond. It's crazy. Well, there it goes. As soon as I put my phone back, talking shit, it's at back ten minutes away. 
stop lying. You ain't ten minutes so, away. Son, stop fronting. Yo, was mad at them fucking I little. Know, I just, you know the little nap nap. Yeah, what the fuck, man? The rain. All this mud. And you know what's making it worse? These niggas in the field because it's not drying up. You gotta see how muddy that shit is when you move. It's fucked up. So you know all that muddiness making them fucking bugs. Because over here, this shit is dry. There's no puddles of water and shit, you know what I'm saying? Usually when there's puddles of water, the uh -huh. little green niggas pop it. Well, we dead ass, get PB Blaster. It takes, knocks out all That's that what grease. what the fuck this is. Let me see, nigga. It don't say Slow PB Blaster. That ain't PB Blaster, nigga. Same there. No, it's not. That shit is a shit, nigga. You sprayed that shit on rusted out cars that was in the rain. Come back tomorrow, you be like, hink, 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 hink. That shit look like, you know what that looks like? Regular hand soap. Because <laughs> I see it all beat it up. I see it beat it up. You know how you use hand soap, but then you go we use palm olive, and that shit be like, ah, yeah. Oh, this shit is so. It's greasy, nigga. I can see it. Is that it's so many years of grease? Yeah, I see it spun. It spun. You just spun it. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's slippery. I know. Or uh -huh. oh, like grease, huh? You don't have a channel lock. You grab it with a channel lock. <laughs> you stupid. That's okay. something I, I would do the same thing. I'm no lie. I would do the same thing. I would do the same thing. So you ain't no rich white boy. When they have all the fancy shit. Gallons of PV blaster. Getting donations and shit. Where the fuck I put the screwdriver? Okay. This? Right. Well, you too. Put the light on it. Put the light on it real quick. Move your foot. You've been blocking the whole shit. Over here. You don't put the light from above. So you can see. So, as you can see, the bearing, the inside of the the bearing is seized onto the spindle. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna try to cut it and see if I can get it off. If not, I'll have to replace the whole spindle. So as you can see, I spent hours trying to cut this piece off, but that didn't work out too well. So what I'm gonna have to do now is I'm gonna have to buy a new spindle, replace all the bearings. Um, it's hard as hell to find the correct spindle and hub for this. So I might have to order one that's made for a um, C3 Corvette. It's the same spindle and the same same rotor and hub. So that's what I'll be doing. I'll order that and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I get what I gotta get. So since I'm changing all these parts, I decided to paint my caliper here came out pretty good after I'm done with this I'm gonna put some high heat paint and finish it up I'll take it off when I finish it up though because I got to replace all of these parts right here whole spindle and everything so since I was changing the spindle and the spindle dust dust protector that's what I'm gonna call it and uh, um, the brake caliper Whatever you want to call it. The brake caliper connector, Bracket. whatever you want to call that shit. Um, I painted it all and 
I'm changing the rotors anyway, but I painted it so once I hit the brakes, it's gonna scrape off all the excess paint. As you can see, I didn't paint the whole thing really, but I painted the edges and the middle section just to make it look a little new. Um, these I redid. I'm gonna do them, finish them off with some clear. I did front and back, as you can see, actually. this one with a few more spots that is as good as that's gonna get until I change it to the drill slotted rotors I might just wait till I get the wheel woods but I use this perfect match dupli color it doesn't match my car perfectly because my car has candy paint but it does the job and it's as close as it gets. It's underneath anyway, so nobody's really paying it that much mind. But until I get those good old wheel, wheel wood or, you know, some aftermarket on there, you know, I, had, I did this just to get it done. It's just temporary. But just keeping y'all posted on what I'm doing, waiting for those spindles to come. I ordered, uh, I ordered a set of spindles and the set of spindles that I ordered were the wrong, actually the wrong size. I needed a bigger spindle and they sent me a smaller Corvette spindle. So I had to get a full size spindle. That should be here tomorrow. Hopefully it will be so that I can replace them, take that off, paint these extra little parts that are connected, make them look fresh. And then I could get y'all some, some videos of me and Candy riding through the city, at least enjoying the rest of the summer because I've been fixing things all summer, kind of like a waste. But that's just the way it is with these old school cars. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Radio. So I finally got my um, spindles, my new spindles for Candy, the Impala, and about to go outside and put them bad boys on. Well, I'm gonna put one on for now. I don't know if I'm gonna get to the other one today. But I'm going to put one on for now. Um, this is what we got. We have one spindle right here. I already put on the, the washer, the nut, and the cotter pen in there just so I don't lose it. But this is the one we got. And we got it from Speedway Motors. Came in two days. And let's do it. That's what it looks like. Put a few coats of um, paint on there. Well, I cleaned them, sanded them down. Put a few coats of paint, then a few coats of clear. This is the spindle. Right there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's looking pretty good. Put them on tomorrow, um, and we'll see how they look on the car. Once they're on and everything's tightened up. 